Hello guys, welcome back, Kim Office here, and we are yet again playing some more Sir John Simulator. Now I had a comment in the Yeah, comment in the comments? Yeah, why not? Comment in the comments about uh, getting this old video and plop it hey. Hey. There we go. I'm shoving it in the VCR and see what uh, see what we get. So let's give that a go, shall we? I haven't actually done this yet, so there we go. Meet the medic. Okay. Is that Team Fortress 2 I said the one in there? Prepare for your examination. <laughs> Prepare an Uber heart transplant. Okay. Oh, uh, this is one of the guys from um what should I call it? Team Fortress, yeah that was it. They yeah, that's quite cool at game actually. Uh, so we got we got a bomb and a saw. Uh, what is this thing? What does this thing do? So it's pointing at this bird. Is that bird doing something? Uh, a pencil, a couple of bottles, baseball bat, standard. What's over here? What's one of these when it's at home? I don't know. It looks important, so I don't really want to chuck it away. Axe, all sorts. Of Ooh, a fridge. Now, wow, hang on. Is it possible that the parts we're looking for are in the fridge? That would make a good place to keep them, wouldn't it? The problem is, how the hell do you open the fridge? Do you just push this? Do you pull it? Do you push it? Do you do something with it? I don't, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how this. How do you open the fridge? I can't open the fridge. You want to grab it, or just squeeze it, or push it, or pull it, or ah, uh, thought something would give me a bit of a hint as to. I'm sure these sort of doors are going to pull, aren't you? I'm sure that's what you meant to do. Which is why I was trying to grab it, but apparently that doesn't bloody work, does it? Hey! Hey, hello! We have fridge! Oh, it's got a sandwich! I want the sandwich. Give me the sandwich. Give me the sandwich. No! Give me the sandwich. I must have it. Oh, my hand doesn't go down low enough. Okay, okay. But we do have, I will assume, is a replacement. Uh oh! So, what does that say? Lockness Monster, I, I assume. No. Something baboon. Well, either way. I think we have our replacement heart. So, I'm going to put this down here, which is most likely going to go wrong. Hmm, now I need to do is remove the old... Has that got little healing things on it? Because if so, how the hell do you use it? Because I really want to... Oh, maybe it's going to do this thing. I did wonder what this was a second ago. Oh yeah. Okay, so this way, this way, this way. I don't... I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing what I wanted to do, so screw it. Let's just start ripping bits off this guy. Okay. That's the tool we want. We shall now remove the ribs. Right. Oh, wasn't this guy 
What's this kind of... I can bear. Sounds like he's metal. But it might just be his... Well, I don't know. It's an odd game. Come on. Come on, ribs. Don't be annoying now. Such a fine line between getting it perfectly on and completely screwing it up. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're doing it. Oh, I got that stuck in him. No. God. You know what? I'm not convinced the axe was the best tool for the job. But, we're here now. Maybe if, I like, maybe if I try and do this a bit more tactically, line it up, and then, no, you just sort of gently bash them, no, just clobber the fucking thing, bash your face out, oh bloody hell, but I'm stuck again, just constantly getting this thing stuck, right, come on, come on, go away rib, nobody likes you, and it's coming from a Chinese or something, there we go, that's someone actually a little bastard, now what the hell am I going to do about these bastards? Uh, oh. Well, there you go. If in doubt, just hit it twice with an axe. Just a lesson for any of you uh, young future surgeons out there. Or even current surgeons, you know. Never too old to learn. Have you tried taking a wood axe into the, ther the theatre to remove ribs instead of precision tools? Because you know what? If anything, it's going to give entertainment value. Right, now what we need to do next is just remove the Longos, and yes, that is their technical name. Oh, don't want to get that too close there. I'll put that, oh, I'll put that in the fridge. Nearly, nearly going for the shot there. Alright, we've got another second go. Oh, so close. Um, do we need the liver? I don't know, but I'm going to take it out anyway. Cause that's what I always do. Uh, right then. Yeah! Yay! Liver in the fridge! Am I going to need that other heart? Is there a reason why? Ah, I don't know. Let's just pick up a knife and... I saw a knife over somewhere. Well, there's one there, but it's quite close to that heart. I feel I might knock it over if I go for that one. So I'm going to go for this one. A axe out the way. And head of what's-his-face. No, not those. The old Kneef. Come on. There we go. Uh, right, okay. This might not be the best angle to do this with. Let's see if I can try that again. In fact... Hey, now stop that. Something so ridiculous. Oh, fine. I'll just grab you like that then. No! You know what? That will have to do, I think, because... Oh, it's a nice little cut there. Not sure how I'm going to get this in there, but... I'm pretty sure it's so simple as well. Just there. Just up a little bit, I think. Well... This knife is not wanting to play ball. Let's just drop it on this stuff. There we go, that might be a bit better. There we go. Now it knows who's the boss is. There you go. Hey oop! Sorry about that. So. That's. Uh. Yeah, ooh. Don't want to actually get that in the fridge because if I do need two hearts, I might get it's going to be confusing. And hey, no, 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 no. Oh, this pissing things in the bloody way now. Should have seen that coming. No, what way? It was that way, wasn't it? Out the way, 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 out the way. There we go. 
There we go. And drop. Was that not it? Do you want two hearts? Is that what you want? Is it two hearts you need? Let's hope that that's correct, because otherwise I'm a bit lost as to what the hell to do next. Hey! Uber heart? You sure you don't want to? Because, you know, they're both awesome. Look at them both in there. You got double the bumpage. Double the pumpage. What's wrong with you? Wake up! Wake up! Ah! His mouth opens everything. I wonder if I can. Ho ho ho! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, well done. Uh, <laughs> right. I mean, really, what do you expect me to do here? I, I've done it. I, I've done it. As far as I'm aware, I've. What well, do you want that in there? You sure you want that in there? Because, you know, this this could work. No? Well, you hold on to that then. Um, ah, was it this thing? Maybe it was this thing. Who knows? Da -da -da -da. What does it even say? Test device number one. Well, I don't know if that's right. Ooh. Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, that thing is now stuck there, so that must have to go there. I mean, look at it. It's not letting go. However, nor's the heart, so I'm thinking they're both in the right place. <coughs> oh, sorry. The question is, what the hell are the liver in the back of the fridge? <laughs> uh, what else needs to go in there? You got two hearts. You got a pumping thing. The bomb is now in there, and you're telling me that's not right. <laughs> you're telling me that's not right. What the hell is right then? I honestly don't know. Twenty minutes later. Um. So I've got everything in his chest. Well, I don't think I don't think it's got anything to do with the bomb. Let's take the bomb out. I do. Probably shouldn't have thrown that. That's right. It landed alright. No one's dead. Maybe. Just maybe. This weird ray thing. We have to use to. What does up do? Where is it pointing now? Okay. Let's, let's, let's bring this thing round. Let's see if we can work this out. I don't know what it is really weird. Up seems to make a noise. That turns it that way. Left and right turn it side to side. Up does noise, but nothing, and down does not even the noise. So, I don't know. I'm a bit lost on this one. Unless maybe you manually pull it down with a little handle and a jig. Okay, well let's... Let's go with that, shall we? Because, you know... I think it's a bit too close for me to do that. Uh, I keep on thinking that handle's miles away, but it's actually really close. Okay, well, it's clearly not going to work that way, is it? I reckon we put it back to where it was in the beginning. Maybe that. Is that my right? I don't know. Let's try it, shall we? Maybe you gotta grab it this way. Come on. 
so close. So close. How do you grab the handle? How do you grab it? Well, I'm thinking let's just have another go on the old joystick, shall we? Maybe that isn't the best way to do it. Maybe... Oh, that angled it a bit. Hey! Now we're talking. Something's happening. Excellent. Hey, excellent! Ah. Uh. Can you feel the Schadenfreude? <laughs> Did he say feel the Schadenfreude? Why not? It's only a D though. That was probably because it took us 15 freaking minutes. <laughs> but, completion's a completion. So yeah, that was quite a challenge. Hey, look at this guy. Wee. Ah, so this crazy doctor geezer, we now get to keep. Hello. 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 I don't hear your phoning. Stop phoning people. That's better. Right then. So. As I said last time, I thought it would be next time. I was talking about the ambulance mode. We're actually going to do this one next time. So, we've got a little extra bonus all in there. Thanks to, uh, well, you know who you are, who suggested doing that one. So, yeah, cheers for doing that one. And I shall catch you guys. Sorry, I'm having fun with discs. That's so much fun. Uh, I shall catch you guys next time for a bit more Surgeon Simulator. Cheers, guys.